Hello everyone, I'm Luke 5 and welcome to the Global Mass Central Chart Review. And today's story we're looking at the 2010 release by Mattel of the Walmart exclusive of the DC Universe Classics celebrating the 75 years of superpower of the Green Lantern's Light 5 pack. And today's video is the final part 5 video and we'll be focusing our review on Guy Gardner. Now the figure and his lantern accessory is inside the packaging, but first things first, let's take a look at Guy Gardner's biography. Here we have an image of Guy Gardner and next to him is an issue of the Green Lantern vs Green Lantern of Guy Gardner vs John Stewart issue. Very nice. And this is issue 197. Now at the bottom there, his biography stated as when Abin Su crash landed on Earth, his power ring detected two equally suitable replacements, Hal Jordan and Guy Gardner. Now Jordan out got the ring because he was closer to the crash. Later, Guy received a second chance to join the Green Lantern Corps, but he often clashed with Jordan. Still, the Guardian sensed great potential in him. After proving himself, Guy Gatner was promoted to Honor Lantern, one of the highest ranks in the Corps. Very nice. So, without further ado, let's open up this packaging and free Guy Gatner up from the package itself so we can molest the figure. Be right back. And we're back after removing the figure and the accessory out from the packaging itself. Now let's take a look at the Green Lantern accessory. Now I don't want to go into too much details on the Lantern accessory itself because well, the rest of the four other figures which I already did the review on has the same Lantern accessory. It's painted in metallic green and has a handle that turns 360 degrees. Now for Guy Gatner, he can only hold it on his left hand. His left hand is an open grip hand as you can see there. And all you have to do is just pull the four fingers apart and slip the handles in like so. And you can hold it quite well as you can see there. And then you can pop out the handle and there you have it. That's all I'm going to talk about the lantern. Let's take a look at Guy Gatner's paint job. Now let's start with the head. The hair is painted nicely. There are some shading on the sides there and also a little bit on the back. Eyebrow is also painted. The eyes is painted in white and the pupils is in blue. The row of teeth is painted in white, but the flesh tone skin is not painted at all. However, the neck joint is painted. Now the inside of his shirt there is all black plastic. And the entire vest here is all in green rubber plastic. As you can see. But the collar here, all the way down to the belt, the buttons, the belt buckle are all painted in white and in silver for the buttons and the buckle itself. But the buckle and the buttons, when you look closer, it has this kind of like glitter effect. I'm not too sure if it's just my figure because it looks kind of weird with the sort of like a glitter effect going on with the belt buckle there. You've got a nice little Green Lantern logo and the abdomen area there on the back there's nothing to talk about the arms are all in black plastic but the gloves are painted in white as you can see that's the green lantern ring there that's painted very nicely done however for the gloves itself now at the middle of this joint here you can see there's a little bit of well gray going on because they didn't apply the white paint job all the way through so that's on the other side the entire legs here is all in well, plastic colors for the black plastic color here. Here at the section here is painted in white stripe as you can see. Now the boots here as you can see here. This lower section of the boots is painted in green and the boots itself is not painted at all. It's just pure green plastic. Now the paint job is very minimal but it looks very nicely done as you can see there a lot of colors going on with all, throughout the entire figure itself let's take a look at the figure's sculpt now it looks very nice Guy Gatner looks very nice indeed I love the head sculpt he has, he has a really big jaws here making the illusion that the head is actually a bit bigger but it's actually in scale very nice details on the head itself, especially on the hair. Has a really nice hair scope. Looks like a mushroom hair. Very nice. Very nice details. The ears, nicely sculpted. So that's on the other side. 
Now for Guy Gatner, look at his face. It looks very arrogant, very smug, very confident face, very nicely done. You got a grin there, his eyebrows are raised upwards. Very nice. I love the amount of details they put for Guy Gatner's face. Very awesome. Now for the torso itself, the body is the same as any DC Universe Classics male body. But for Guy Gatner, they added on this vest itself. Yes, it's a separate piece. Okay, including the ones inside as well. This piece here is a separate piece. They're all soft rubber, as you can see here. All soft rubber. Very nice. But very nicely done with the scalp itself. Or the mold. Now the gloves is also well done. It's totally different compared to the rest of the characters. Uh, except, well, John Stewart. As you can see there, there's difference of a different mold and sculpt there on the gloves. And also for the boots itself, very, very nice. A lot of nice new stuff for this figure itself. Especially on the boots as well. Very nice. Very thick, larger boots compared to the rest of the figures. Now, let's take a look at the figure's articulation. The head can pivot downwards a little bit, up a little bit like so. So you can actually do a flight pose with him. Or side to side. And turn 360 degrees. Torso here is a little bit hindered thanks to the vest. So you can barely make his body go forward and back a little bit. Now the shoulder joints here can turn 360 degrees and lift the arms this far. The joints here is a bit too tight for the shoulders itself. Upper bicep here turn 360 degrees. Elbow joint here bend this far. Wrist joint turn 360 degrees. Hip joints here move forward, back a little bit and to the sides. But the hip joints is a bit loose as you can see there. Thanks to the dramatic pose being placed in to the figure itself inside the packaging. Lower thigh here, so it was 360 degrees. Knee joint bend this far, and ankle joint bend downward and upward, and it's done. Overall, I really like Guy Gatner. The amount of new stuff being put onto the figure is very nice. I really love the glove itself, the boots, the add-on on the vest, very nice touch, especially when you when they try to make it very soft, as if, well, he's actually wearing a, well, a clothing. Too bad you can't actually remove it because it's permanently affixed to the figure itself. And I really love the head sculpt. Despite that slacking of paint job onto the face itself, the head sculpt looks really nice. The mushroom hairstyle, the really smug face, this arrogant smug face going on with him very nice but the figure has some well issues like loose joints on the hip i really hate it when they try to pose this figure in a dramatic pose and place it into the package itself that tends to warp some parts or loosen some of the parts itself really disappointing but i really love the new parts they place onto the figure very nice so if i'm gonna give a rating out of this i say he is among the best in this five pack itself so if i'm gonna give a rating of this i would say i'll give it a nice eight out of ten why not nine because well like always he doesn't come with any other accessories except for the green lantern itself if it comes with the accessories it will be great another problem is the loose hip joints there and well lack of detailed paint job especially on the face itself so 8 out of 10 for Guy Gatner, he scored the highest among the rest of the figures itself. I really love this figure. A lot of nice sculpts for the entire body. Well, at least half of the body itself. The head sculpt is really nice. I really love the vest being placed onto the figure. So 8 out of 10 for Guy Gatner. I thank you all for watching. This is Lucy05 and I'm signing off.